we are going to discuss the next variety of line problem and the problem statement is a line ab has its end a 20 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp the other end b is 60 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp the distance between end projectors is 70 mm draw its projections and determine true length and apparent inclinations now in this problem the distance of point from xy is given and along with this one more thing given is a distance between the end projectors now what is this end projector that first we see now suppose i draw one line like this i draw angular line so this line makes an angle with hp so i show that angle over here i make this line faint so this is the angle of line made with hp and if the same line makes angle with vp then it will appear like this so this is the position of line where it makes angle with vp also so the angle made by this line that i can show over here and make this line faint okay so this is the end position of this line in a front view and in a top view so this is the projector of this first point and this is this is the projector of the second point now these both projectors cut this xy line somewhere so distance between these two points that means distance between this cutting point and this cutting point so this distance is called as a distance between end projectors so that is the meaning of it so the distance between the end projectors is 70 mm so that is the meaning of statement now that thing is given to us which is new so now we can see how to solve this problem so before we start we just add the nomenclature so use detect command press anywhere on the screen specify height 3.5 then angle of rotation 0 so this is xy xy line above xy is a vertical plane where we observe a front view below xy is a horizontal plane where we observe top view now first we place the points so point a is 20 mm above hp so i click on line xy i travel in upward direction add distance 20 and immediately i draw the locus of a similarly it is 30 mm in front of vp i travel in downward direction add distance 30 immediately i add the locus i make all these lines faint and i show the distance of the point so this distance is 20 and this distance is 30. so point a position is shown it is fixed now point b is 60 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp so now we add the point b locus so it is 60 mm above hp so i click somewhere on line so this distance is 50 sorry 60 60 mm above hp enter immediately i draw locus and 50 mm in front of vp so this distance is 50 enter and i draw the locus 
I make these lines faint. I show this distance. So this distance is 60. And this distance is 50. Now I can add the nomenclature by using the text command. So this is point A. This is point A dash. This is locus of A. This is locus of A dash. This is locus of B. Currently the exact position of B is not known, but locus is known. So I add the locus nomenclature and this is locus of B dash. Now, as we discussed, the distance between the end projectors is given. So now one end projector is with us. That is the end projector of A and this is the point where for understanding purpose i show that point i make this point small so this is the point of first end projector now from this point the other end projector is at 70 mm distance so i can select line command i click on this point and i travel in a forward direction and I enter the value as 70. Press enter and move the cursor in upward direction. So this is the end projector of B. So I draw a perpendicular from this point on locus of B in a front view. Similarly, I draw a perpendicular from this point on locus of B dash in a top view. So this is the end position of point B or this is the actual position of point B. So I make these both lines faint. And now I connect this A with B and A dash with B dash. So I can add the names to the point. So this is point B. And this is point B dash. It is B dash. Now we can check the apparent length in a front view. So it is 81. Also apparent length in a top view. It is 73. We measure the apparent inclination. It is 30. And apparent inclination of this line. If such thing happen, you just off this O snap. So that snapping of other point will be neglected. So this distance is 16. So this angle is 16 degrees. So these are the apparent lengths and apparent inclinations of line AB. Now we want a true length. So in order to get a true length, we should make one of the apparent length parallel to XY. And in another view, we get a true length. Now we use that principle. So I open circle command. I click on A dash and then on point B dash. So I get this circle. I just want this arc. So I trim the remaining circle and I just keep this arc. Just remove the unwanted circle, unwanted part of the circle and keep this arc. I make this arc faint and from this point I draw a perpendicular line on locus of B. 
now i connect this a with the new point which is on locus if you want you can zoom it so that you get the exact point so this is the end point so this is the true length we call this point as a b1 dash and i make this line faint i add the text so i call this point as a b1 dash now i measure the true length in a front view as well as angle made by that true length so first we check the angle so angle is 29 and the true length of ab is 83 now similarly we want a true length position in a top view and true length in a top view will be also 83 so now we check whether we get true length as 83 or not so again we repeat the process as this is the apparent length ab is the apparent length we are going to make it parallel to xy by rotating point b on locus of a so i use the circle command i click on this point b so circle is created i just trim unwanted part of the circle as i want only that arc for the rotation of point b on locus of a and from this point i am going to drop a perpendicular on locus of b dash now make this arc and line faint so this point we call this point as a b double dash connect this a dash with this new point on locus of b dash to give the name to the point the text so this is this point is b double dash now this a dash b double dash is a true length and it should be 83 just check whether it is 83 or not Okay, so it is correct it is 83 and check the angle made by this true length so the true length inclination of the line is 14 degree in a top view. so this is the complete solution of the problem you just check whether all dimensions are proper or nomenclatures are given or not okay. so this is the case when the distance between the end projectors is given now we can show that end projector distance also because it is given in a statement so this distance is the end projector distance so you can show that okay thank you